did it to Malfoy's. Curse those humans. They're attacking the royal minds again. Knights of the square table, defend our family jewels! We must defeat Sir George's men. Gasflame, establish a defense perimeter. Bernevere, report on troop strength. Blaze, you and I will attack in formation Delta Tango Orange. Or better yet, let's just rush in and torch those buggers. Or Camel Hawk! <laughs> The raid wasn't a complete loss, Sir George. We did lose a thousand knights, but at least we made off with this extraordinary diamond. It's half eaten! Curse those dragons! Merlin, I want some fiendish advice. How can I make Camel Hot mine? Hmm. My spies have just given me some new, deliciously diabolical information regarding the future of Camelot. <laughs> My new alarming cock is a splendid invention, but adding the snooze lever was pure genius. Flicker, hurry up, you lazy bag of dragon droppings. King Old Fire be waiting to see you. I just want to test the snooze lever one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Fine. I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he survives, that you can't fit him into your busy schedule. Whoa, hold your jingle bells. Tell the king I'm on my way. Maybe it's about my request to battle in the tournament tomorrow. If I can't win, Princess Flame will be forced to marry someone else. It's a photo of Princess Flame. She's the apple of my eye, the cream in my coffee, the frosting on my cupcake. Strange. Whenever I think of Flame, I get very hungry. I wouldn't waste my breath. I would never move it. It's the last thing I see when I go to sleep and the first thing I see when I wake. My hero. Necessity may be the mother of invention, but Albert is definitely the father of invention. They're such a nice couple. I wonder why they never had kids. I'm leaving it right where it is. The only drawback to my alarming clock is that I have to wake up and wind it every 10 minutes. I have no use for it while I'm awake. My rubberized tail warmer. Functional yet stylish. It keeps my tail toasty at night. I have a cracking good view of Camel Hot from my window. Flame calls it my junk pile. But one dragon's junk is another dragon's treasure. I don't need this junk. Uh, I mean treasure right now. It's my pet moth, Pavlov. So far, I've conditioned him to stay in his jar, even after the lid is removed. Hello, Pavlov. Hello, little friend. Anxious to show all the nice people what a well-trained moth you are? Pavlov, where are you going? You're setting a terrible example at the beginning of the game. Bad moth, bad. A great inventor needs a great workbench. Unfortunately, I'm stuck with this one. This is the most precious thing I own. My invention book. It contains the designs for all my best inventions. 
A good inventor always has his invention book. I do some of my best work here, so I sleep as much as possible. My favourite night shirt. It's a wool asbestos blend. That's only for sleeping and it's nowhere near bedtime yet. This candelabra has lit my way to the kitchen for many late night snacks. That door leads to the Camel Hot Library. They've got books on every subject from A to Y. Apparently some dragons sneezed and burnt down the Z's. Flicker, about tomorrow's tournament, my answer is no! Jeez, I was only an hour late. The tournament is open only to dragon knights. You're not a knight, you're not even a squire. Knights of the square table, your attention please. Silence please, silence for the king. Pray silence. The king is speaking! Shh! I'm oh, sorry. We must do something, Flicker. I refuse to marry one of these flaming idiots. I'll try, Flame. I promise. Uh-oh. Visitors. Humans, Humans in Camel Hot? Greetings, King Smallfire. <laughs> oh, I sincerely regret to hear that you are finally retiring. When my entry in your tournament, the Black Dragon wins and is crowned king, he will turn your hide into ladies' handbags and tight shoes. What? Humans can't enter the tournament? I'm certain the Camel Hot Law Book will not allow such a thing, Chancellor! Hmm. You're undoubtedly right, sire. Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 clearly states that humans shall not be eligible to participate in any tournament. Take a bite out of that, haircut boy. Unless, of course, they have a dragon to participate on their behalf. Chancellor, I believe you're mistaken. Doesn't Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 refer to an obscure law governing public snout picking? Uh, yes, well, at one time it did, but uh, I changed it, accidentally. Uh, this is a sensitive matter of state, King Allfire. I really don't think the princess should be involved. Quite right. Keep quiet, Dennis. Quibble while you may. Tomorrow, Camel Hut will be mine. Away, Mervyn! Humans! Pah! We should have toasted the little pink bugs the moment they arrived! Calm down! Our opponent can be defeated! Your mission is to bring back information about this mysterious black dragon. Yes, yes sire! sire! Father, Flicker needs a mission. Oh, okay. Flicker, I hereby command you to wash all the dirty dishes that have piled up in the royal kitchen. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wacko! Tell you who, chaps, we have a black dragon to quash! That's an English word, you know. Ooh, blind idiot! Oh, great. I see Sir Gasvane's been using room service again. The royal tea kettles are always left on the stove in case the king wants a cup of tea to soothe his nerves. King Allfire's teacups are on a handy spinning rack. At least someone started soaking the gem crusted dishes. Nothing's tougher than diamond stains. I bet this mop keeps the kitchen floor clean enough to eat off. We should use it on the tables. I could most likely use this in case I make a mess. Or perhaps for something else. Salad tongs? 
These must be really old. Dragons haven't eaten salad in thousands of years. It's a perfect fit. So snug that no steam's escaping. Vicar, I've got great news. You're going to help me with the dishes? No. If you're a knight, Daddy will have to let you compete in a tournament. To become a knight, you first need to have an existing knight take you on as a squire. And then? As a squire, you can journey into the cave of dilemma. Leave alive and you're a knight. Good luck! Well, that sure simplified things. It's combined the two steam sources into one powerful source. Another perfect fit. I'm a natural at this. Stand back, Flicker. I think you've done it again. It's working. Lo and behold, the automatic dishwasher. Now, how much would you pay for this miracle time saver? Don't answer, because I'm free to leave the castle. What's on this step? Good day, Chancellor. This is my latest invention, the automatic dishwasher. I see it's run off steam. Is it powerful? As powerful as a dozen knights. Fascinating. Perhaps later I can help you find some further uses for it. Wise King Allfire. Camelhot owes him a debt it can never repay. The dearly departed Queen Griddle. She departed a few years ago with Sir Loinfire. It's the revered squared table. The revered coffee table is in the other room. I'd better not. He seems deep in thought. Or asleep. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Excuse me, King Allfire. Flicker, leave me. I'm thinking through a strategy for when my knights return. It's the Royal Stairwell. 96 steps that will take you up or down. This doorway leads to the Royal Kitchen, which probably explains the huge knife and fork above it. This stairway leads down to the front entry hall. The back entry hall's out of order. This leads to the royal bedrooms. Just the thought of Princess Flame's bedroom leaves me weak in the tail. This door goes to Princess Flame's bedroom. That's the doorway to King Allfire's bedroom. Monarch Quarterly. In this issue, they reprint King Allfire's infamous 12-hour coronation speech. I'll just take the Monarch Quarterly along in case I get a sudden bout of insomnia. I am honoured that King Allfire has one of my inventions in his bedroom. It's a shame it only tells the correct time twice a day. The king and queen were happily married for nearly a thousand years and unhappily married for more than four thousand years. From this balcony, King Allfire can admire the majestic landscapes of Camelhot, which, by the way, are on loan from the Majestic Landscaping Company. Hmm, pipe cleaners. The king must have been cleaning his sinuses out. I don't have sinus problems but this pipe cleaner might come in handy. I feel bad enough having taken one. Any more and I couldn't live with myself. And if I couldn't live with myself, I'd have to find a roommate because there's no way I could afford to pay rent all by myself. It's King Allfire's Fountain.
Flicker, this is my bedroom. Next time, knock, please. Oh, Flame is really upset about the tournament. Hmm. This mirror is clearly warped. Makes me look like I have a dual gut. Flame has an outstanding view of... My bedroom? I'll have to put up some blinds. This room has a lovely sneezing pit. We had to rebuild the castle three times before I invented these. It's a bottle of Hair Club for Dragons. Guaranteed to grow hair on even the most stubborn heads. Oh, Flame is really upset about the tournament. Excuse me, Flame? Flicker, have you done it? Are you a squire? Uh, I'm close, Flame. Honest. Hurry, Flicker. I refuse to marry against my will. Can't you talk the king out of forcing you to marry? Use your feminine wiles. You know, smile sweetly. Lock him in a half, Nelson. I tried, but he reversed me into a figure four leg lock. Flame? Flicker? Do you have any more advice about becoming a knight? Nope. But here's a kiss for good luck. <laughs> Flame? Flicker? So, uh, what sort of dragon do you want to marry? Well, the dragon of my dreams is sensitive. The other day I saw a rainbow so beautiful, I wept. Of course, he'd have to be funny. Did you hear about the human who thought manual labour was a famous Spanish painter? Brave. He'd have to be brave. I'm almost completely over that nightlight phase. I swear. And most important of all, he'd have to be covered in tattoos that say, I belong to flame. Fine, I'll check the docks and get back to you. Touchy. This leads to the Chancellor's Chambers. He's King Allfire's most trusted aide, although I'm not sure why. King Allfire thought of this information booth after he got lost in a neighbouring castle. It's a splendid door with an impressive resume. Its hobbies include opening, closing and stamp collecting. I beg your pardon? Yes? What can I do for you? I need your help. I have to locate the Knights of the Square Table. I've got a semi-enchanted map. It will show you where you want to go, even if you don't know you want to go there. I beg your pardon? Yes? What can I do for you? What's the easiest way to become a squire? Kiss some knight's butt flicker. It hurts, but it's worth it. Oh, heavens me, did I just say that? Can I have some useless information? Strange, but true. Every six minutes, a mother dragon gives birth. I say we find that dragon and stop her. Can I have some useless information? The most visited spot in all of Camelhot is the king's bathroom. Ever since he went on that liquid ruby diet, the king's been in there five times an hour. What are you knitting? Oh, my little boy's grown another two feet since last week. I just can't keep up. Now, what can I do for you? I need one of those, um, things. You know. You mean one of those diddly bops you put on your, well... You know. Exactly. But without the doohickey on the end. Either you want a new bowstring for your crossbow, or I should slap your face. Either way, I can't help you. I have all the information I need. The map really is enchanted. I can see where all four knights have gone. How did 
did Sir Burnaby wind up here? This is the home for the grimly insane, where they treat clinically depressed storybook characters. It's unguarded and unlocked. Appears easy to get in there, but I bet you'd have to be pretty committed to get out. That's either a window or a fiendishly clever door that's a master of disguise. Magic beans! This place is jumping with them! Looks like he wiped out the home for the happily insane next door. She seems like a very confused young lady. Magic beans! This one looks good. Excuse me, but your hair... It's too long, I know! Otherwise you never would have said such a thing! Please calm yourself, miss. You Blanowitz! Rapunzel, you Blanowitz! And how can I be calm with all this long hair? Oh, what long hair? You don't know what it was like. Everywhere I turned it was, Rapunzel, throw down your hair! Rapunzel, throw some more hair down! Hey, I didn't get any hair over here! Before long, I was throwing down hair all over the place. It was making me crazy! That's exactly what I was thinking. Crazy. Luckily, Dr. Fraud is a man who knows how to make a commitment. In fact, he's committed everybody here. He's really helped me see the light. Getting the hair out of your eyes probably helped. Should you be outside? Unattended? Yes, of course. I do the gardening around here. I trim the bushes, I trim the grass, I trim everything. You should have seen that beanstalk before I got to it. Why are you so stressed about your hair? My hair? If I don't keep it short, it'll grow down to the floor and then out the door. But we're outside. Wouldn't it grow in the door? Well, if you're gonna split hairs. Now, don't bother me. I've got to be ready with my clippers if it tries to grow. Forget I said anything. Most people do. Looks to be about 50 feet of hair. Pretty and sturdy. How's it hanging? Stay away! Any more of that tonic and I'll be able to tuck my bangs into my socks! I won't splash you again. You have my word. What I'd really like to have is that hair tonic. How about you hand over the bottle and I'll give you my clippers? Nah, I have the strangest desire to collect a lot of junk lately. Well, okay. Lucky for Rapunzel, she didn't hurt herself with these. Lance, the royal mole, is ruining the streets of Camel Hot. The royal subjects love this statue, but the royal pigeons love it more. That's the royal pizza chef. He makes a double cheese with rubies that's to die for. But he's not the happiest dragon in town. Pizza. That says it all. I don't know any dragon who wouldn't flip for a hot, jewel-encrusted pizza pie. Excuse me, Chef? What do you want, a flicker? I'm busy, being upset. What's the problem? What isn't? Uh, it's been such a long time since I had a good laugh, you know? Like when you laugh so gosh darn hard, you think your heart is gonna explode? Maybe it would help if I told you an amusing anecdote. What's the matter, you? I'm not sick. I don't need no antidote. Well, you need something to put a smile on your face. Excuse me, Chef? What do you want, a flicker? I'm busy, being upset. Can Trivet cheer you up? Ah, you crazy? Ah, that a stupid dragon wouldn't know a joke even if I served it to him like a larger pizza with an extra opal. Well, I know he's not that funny, but... Funny? Ha! He's not even close. He makes me even more depressed than I am. Excuse me, Chef? Why do you want a flicker? I'm busy being upset. Don't be so depressed. At least you have a nice paddle. 
She's a beauty, no? <laughs> it's a one of a kind, irreplaceable. So you wouldn't want to sell it? I just said it's irreplaceable. That means I no cannot replace it. Shit! Latch and wooden. Perfect traits if you're a pizza paddle. Hey, what's the matter you? This paddle and I are very attached to find another. Through that archway is the tournament grounds. With all the soot around here, the royal sign washer has his hands full. Plus he has to work on stilts. Through that archway is the tournament grounds. Another fine sign. This one is carved from Flintstone, I believe. Hello up there. How's it going? You say you're from the Union? No, I can't hear you way up here. No, oh, I'm coming down. I'm sorry, but I'm not from the Union. Forget it, kid. It's time for a break anyway. The Sign Washers Union says we get a break every 13 minutes. You need a lot of breaks when you work on stilts, you know. Excuse me, but are you still on break? You bet your toolbox I am. I'm using up some break time from when I was homesick with a flaming flu last month. Are you ever going to go back to work? I already am. This year is what you call project management. I'm deep in thought at the moment. It's the Royal Termite Mound. I wouldn't waste my breath. They're too tiny to pick up individually. My pipe cleaner is now covered with nasty termites. This could be helpful in getting over one of my worst fears. Hands off, son. If I can't climb up and clean this sign, I could lose my job, and I'm only two years away from retiring to a fat pension. It's the Royal Catapult Target Range, where knights practice raining cats, but never dogs, against enemy castles. A crude representation of Sir George's home, Castle Grimm, which is pretty crude itself. It's simple. Use the catapult to knock down the cutouts of Sir George's knights. All I have to do is aim the catapult, adjust the tension and release. If I hit 9 out of 10 wooden knights, I get a shot at the big Sir George cutout for the win. Oh God, that's one. Chalk up a second one. Scratch the third one. Four down. Halfway there, that's five. Darn, missed by a whisker. I can't miss again. Six, got this by the tail. Seven down, victory is near. That makes eight. Hey, that's nine. I did it! I win! I am master of the catapult range! The poor fella took a lot of punishment. I'd better hold on to him. Fast asleep. Still not feeling up to scratch.
my bedroom or Dragon Central Station. Could we try that good luck kiss thing again? Ah. It's a kiss from Princess Flame. Talk is cheap. So, you think your mother is uh... a... A dragon! Oh, good sir, I don't have time for this. Ah, you have a classic case of scale envy. Now, take off that silly costume. This isn't a costume. I'm a dragon! And you, sir, are a fraud. Yes! I am Dr. Sigmund Ford, specialist in the disturbed, the confused, and the loony nut boys. What a mess! Sir Burnaby is trapped! He's a bit of a nervous wreck. It looks like he could snap any minute now. A naked man eating flies. After what I've seen today, that doesn't seem so strange. Sir Burnaby must have wandered in here and now he's trapped. It looks like Dr. Fraud is losing his patience. I'd be crazy to do that! <gasps> then I'd have to pull myself. Excuse me, Dr. Fraud? Another one. The madness is spreading. Wait till I finish with the other nutcase. Psst! Sir Bernivere. Do you mind? I am in the middle of a session with my patient. Excuse me? Yes, what can I do for you? I notice you're eating flies. Indeed I am, dear boy. They're low in fat, high in fiber, and the way they buzz on the way down gives them a little added thing. I didn't know humans enjoyed flies. Neither did I. Oh, fancy that. Humans like the same things we frogs do. Oh, so you're a frog? More or less. Aren't you cold? Nudity leads to that. I usually wrap myself in a lily pad when I catch a chill, but that's a little impractical now. You don't mind me saying so, you look pretty human. For a frog, that is. Hard to miss, isn't it? I blame the princess who kissed me last summer. Eccentric girl. Good family, though. Is there anything I could do to help? If you should come across a princess in an affectionate mood, do send her my way. Puckered up, if possible. And not too much lipstick. There's a good chap. Sorry to bother you. I see you're eating. Thought of yourself as any other mythical creatures? Ugh, you are taxing my patience, humans. That was remarkable. All it took was Princess Flame's kiss to turn you back into your original form. I imagine you'd giggle if you could. And most of your IQ went away when you transformed, didn't it? So I'm probably standing here talking to a frog who doesn't understand a word I say. That'd be crap. I'm certain he's happy to be a frog again, but he still looks sort of sad and lonely. Release me! That'd be crazy to do that. <gasps> then I'd have to build myself. I say, that's a nice pipe. Uh, can't stop to talk. Have to play. <sighs> so the play's the thing. But why? The rats! My playing is the only thing keeping the rats away. If I stop, they'll be all over me. It's horrible. But I haven't seen a rat for miles. Don't be fooled. They're all around us. They hide in the shadows with the glowing red eyes, waiting. That's a catchy little ditty. What's it called? No. It's called Keep the Rancid Rats at Bay. If one gets near, I fear my flesh he'll flay. <laughs> it's an original composition. Is that a flute or a recorder? <laughs> it's neither. It's a pipe. I'm the Pied Piper. Get it? I'll talk to you later. I see you're busy being insane. <gasps> Beware the rats. They're out there. Try this. <laughs> Must keep wooden pipe in perfect condition. I don't know what I'd do without my pipe. Ah, we're doomed. A 
total rat attack. Any second now, I'm going to be covered from head to toe with rats. Rats up my shirt, down my pants, in my shoes. Stop that over there. What are you, cuckoo? Cut it out. Strangers on the street will say, what a nice fur coat, what a nice fur coat. And I'll say, I'm not wearing a fur coat. I am covered with rats. Dirty, stinking, lousy rats. Knock it off, you! The only rats around here are inside your head! In my head? Oh my god! Get them out, get them out, get them out now! Settle down! Relax! Relax! Untie me, flick up! Hurry! Flicker! Oh, good job, lad! I wish there was a way to show my gratitude! And I wish that a grateful knight would make me a squire! If only there was some way both our wishes could come true. I believe indentured servitude to be a degrading anachronism. But so you will not defame my hallowed name, please take this gift as a token of my gratitude. Tonight I don't know what to say, except, what is this? It was awarded to me when I deduced that the world was the shape of a duck. Impressive. Well, well, what have we got here then? Come down and face your conqueror, Sir George! You've got the wrong castle! So blind as a bat! King Allfire's Tomato Garden. It contains the most fertile soil in the kingdom. I order you to surrender, vile human! I order you to the Royal Optometrist! That's a gas flame, the visually impaired. He's a powerful warrior, but his eyes are as weak as his intellect. I haven't seen the king this angry since that nasty business with the pee under the princess's mattress. Trivet can be so literal at times. It's rude and crude to yell in public. If I want to speak to the king, I'll walk to the bedroom. I order! Um, pardon me, Sir Gasflame? Huh? My word! A giant talking dandelion! <laughs> oh, Flicker, it's you! Why do you refuse to wear glasses? Sir Bernevere wears them into battle. Do you think any less of him? Of course I do! But he can use those large words to defend himself. That's King Allfire up there. Your sense of humour is warped. It's clear this is Castle Grimm and that fuzzy blot up there is Sir George. Talk to you later. I see you're busy attacking the wrong castle. I order you to surrender. Magic bean. Where should I plant this thing? I need a plant in my bedroom. But not one a hundred feet tall. I order you to the Royal Optometrist. Perfect. It sank right into the ground. Now, if I know my fairy tales, this shouldn't take very long. Unhand my nose, you stone blind stalker! King Allfire! What happened to Sir George? Am I in trouble? Found you, gas flame. This is the last straw. Oh my word! Look at my poor tomato plants. Looks as though you've got brown roots, sire. Blast it all! I've worked so hard on them. There, there. If you like, I can give you my mum's recipe for fertilizer that will solve all your problems. That's rather stand up of you, gas flame. All is forgiven with that earlier business. Uh, so anyway, how's your mum these days? Buried her last week. <laughs> Dead, you know. Oh, just a minute, sire. Flicker, lad, thanks for the help. It was my pleasure, Sir Knight. Just as it would be my pleasure to serve under you as your squire. Oh, dash it all. You know me and squires. I'm a special case. As it token in my appreciation, though, here is a lot of Peruvian coal. Gee, thanks. Coal. Off to the square table room, Sir Gasflame. Follow me. Your Highness is most resourceful. The 
royal gardener is not going to like this one little bit. Peruvian coal. It's good and good for you. One bite and even I can breathe fire for a short while. Sir Loungelot is lost in the woods. I'll have to wait until he finds his way out. Oh, just look at the time. King Orphire sent me on a mission and I've been here for hours. You're such a bad boy. Hey, big guy. I can't control my burning feelings of candy love. That's a blaze, the seriously vain, mesmerized by the thing he loves the most. This tranquil pool must be enchanted. Sir Blaze's reflection has a mind of its own. You're as handsome as the honey gods of Olympus. People do stare at me, you know. Hey baby, jealousy has an ugly, ugly vibe. It would be like talking to a wall. Excuse me, Sir Blaze? Not now, Mummy. Can't you see I'm busy? <sighs> you heard him, baby. Go chill with the out crowd. She seems like a happy little frog. But I bet she's lonely being here all by herself. You're as handsome as the honey gods of Olympus. Are you recovered from that embarrassing bout of narcissism, Sir Knight? Oh yes, Flicker. That was indeed a torturous, <sighs> yet somehow stimulating spell. Thank you for saving me. I'd consider the debt paid in full if you would take me on as your squire. Oh bother. I'd love to, but I couldn't do a thing for you. I'm way over my squire quota. Try Sir Lunge a lot. He's looking for a squire. Come on now. No pouty faces. Here's a gift for you. I'm honoured, Sir Knight. This is clearly a family heirloom, handed down through generations. Don't be silly. I have another 30 crates in my boudoir. It's one of Sir Blaze's many mirrors. Hey! Sir Lancelot's out of the woods! These appear to be wooden targets. From their shape, I'd say they were... Dragons? Now that's just sick! We're deep in the heart of Manlandia. This must be some manner of target range. There's the black dragon. Even his silhouette is scary. It's been said that Sir Loungelot is the bravest and strongest of the knights. Of course, Sir Loungelot is usually the one who says it. Sir Lounge a lot. I've been looking all over for you. I've been looking all over for the Black Dragon. I challenged the coward hours ago and he still hasn't engaged me in combat. Combat? With him? Surely you jest. No, I joust. I thought the King only wanted you to get information about the Black Dragon. Ha! Huh. King Allfire will forget all about that when I come home dragging the beast by its tail. You expect the Black Dragon to come down here? Why not? It's his turn. After all, I had to trudge all the way up the hill to challenge the brute. It's only fair he should come down to me for the battle. Is there any way I can talk you out of this challenge? No! It's a matter of honour now. Sir Loungelot, about the Black Dragon. This is no time for talking. I'm a dragon of action, and I'll sit here and wait for that dragon as long as I have to. It's a bit muddy, but this path will take me up to the top of the hill. The black dragon is a machine. That makes sense. No self-respecting dragon would ever work for Sir George. 
No way! I'm not going out there! It's my guess that once they untie the rope, they'll hop in the treadmill and power that monstrosity up. Go away, you cruddy canine! No fetching while I'm in the middle of something diabolical! If they'd just jump in and start running, I'll bet it would break free. It's treadmill powered. That's Dog the Dog, Sir George's loyal dog. He's a clever little fellow. That's Sir George. I guess he's testing the Black Dragon. Test? No way! I'm not stupid. Just another moment. Woof woof. Fast asleep. Still not feeling up to scratch. We must conduct the test! We are simple, underachieving peasants. This is all your fault! So lounge a lot, what happened? Did you not see it yourself? First the fiend was not alone, he brought several of his friends! No doubt it's a grand tale, but first I have something to ask you. Very well, what is it? You know I admire you, don't you? I'm not sure I like where this is going, Flicker. If you get funny on me, you'll regret it. I'm looking for a knight to squire under. And you want me to be that knight? Out of the question. You're not qualified. On a mission like this, you wear chain mail? Yes, what of it? Mail is fine if you're conquering a continent, but for tracking down dragons, I would have picked out a light wall. While tracking, you need to be light on your feet. You seem to know quite a bit about battlefield wear. I've just now decided that you will be my new squire. If you insist. Tis settled. Now, here's something I think you will need. Soap? Not common soap, simpleton. It's my privately blended laundry detergent for my undergarments, which I expect my squire to scrub every morning. Sir Loungelot, I'm overwhelmed by your generosity. You're very welcome. Now, back to Camel Hot, so I can tell the others of my grand battle. King Allfire, the Black Dragon has been defeated. Say what? Good work, Sir Loungelot. You will make a fine king and husband to my lovely flame when you win the t I mean, <laughs> if you win the tournament tomorrow. <laughs> I am not about to stand here and be given away as a prize in a contest. Blast it all. Flicker, see if you could cool flames, flames a bit, would you? Yes, your firm but fair dictatorship, but first I have vital news about the Black Dragon. What could you possibly have to report, my puny squire? That the Black Dragon is actually... ...a machine! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, knight, settle down. We shall resume later. Flicker, now please go watch Princess Flame for me. All right, your Purple Mountain's Majesty. I'm running away. But I just became a squire, Flame. If I make knighthood by tomorrow, I can win your hand in the tournament. Sorry, can't chance it. Now, help me find something to lower out the window for me to climb down. Oh, Flame is really upset about the tournament. Excuse me, Flame? What is it, Flicker? I'm running out of time. Where will you go? Wherever the mood takes me. As long as they have room service. Maybe I should come with you. Mm, 
I don't know. We'll be on the run, never more than a few feet apart, sleeping in each other's arms, always brushing up against each other. Oh, perish the thought. I'm afraid. Afraid that I'll be at the mercy of a harsh and cruel world? I'm afraid of what will happen when your father learns I helped you escape. He'll have me skinned, beaten, flayed, shot, hogtied, deep fried and drawn and quartered. You're so selfish sometimes. I'll let you finish your packing. It's not like I'm in a hurry to escape or anything. Kazam! Zippity Duda! Ali, Ali, action free! Form of a waterfall! Knock it off! I tire of waiting for the Chancellor. Where is that scabrous, scaly faced moron? Sir George? Mervyn? More on, more on, more on this subject later. Mervyn, our friend the Chancellor has arrived. Why have you summoned us here, Chancellor? A meeting like this is quite risky for you. Indeed it is. But Sir Loungelot has told the court that he defeated your black dragon. No matter. For Mervyn here is building a bigger, more powerful, new and improved... Black Dragon 2! The sequel! Excellent! A young inventor here in the castle has created an extraordinary power source. With it, your Black Dragon 2 will be unstoppable. A power source, eh? Hmm, what flavor? Ah! Now wait here by the castle while I go and retrieve the plans. I'll send them down. Right then. In the meantime, I shall prance about and practice my maniacal laughter. <laughs> Flicker, I knew I could depend upon you. was that? Weren't you ever a dragon scout, Flicker? Uh, afraid not. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Let go of me this instant! Flame, what's happening down there? Help me, Flicker! It's frozen Thor! And he's tying me up and putting me in the back of his carriage! I... <laughs> <laughs> It says, thanks for princess, was expecting plans. Signed, your pal. Oh no! What plans could they mean? Flicker. What have you done? Depends how much of that last bit you overheard, Chancellor. Most of it. Now tell me what happened, Flicker. Flame was kidnapped, and a flaming note from the kidnappers said that they were expecting some plans. I don't know what plans they were talking about. Simpletons. It should be obvious, Flicker. The kidnappers want the plans to your dishwasher. My steam engine? Yes. Give me the plans and I'll see that the princess is free. Not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Fool! You're wasting valuable time. Flame suitcase, fully packed. I want to, but I don't have anywhere to put it. Hey, my bag is missing. The flame from the arrow has burned holes in these. They're practically useless now. These would come in handy later, but I don't have my bag.
If King Allfire finds out about Flame, he'll have me beheaded for sure. Flicker, where is my daughter? I wish to see her. King Allfire? Flicker, where is my daughter? I wish to see her. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Until you bring me Princess Flame, I don't have anything to say to you, Flicker. Hey, you snatched my bag! And that's my invention book, give it back! Hush, lad. Trust me, you'll thank me for this one day. Now let's get these plans to the kidnappers so our beloved Princess Flame can return to us unharmed. This same day, Carrier Eagle, we'll get the plans there lickety-split. Curse you, stupid bird! Oh well, at least I have my backup ground delivery dodo. If you can't trust me, here's your chance to redeem yourself. Follow the dodo to the kidnapper's lair, rescue the princess, and you'll be a hero. As soon as the little fool gets anywhere near Castle Grimm, he'll be chopped into a dozen pieces by Sir George's guard. Did you say something to me, Chancellor? Oh, no, 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 no. I was just having a small, malicious aside. Carry on, lad. It's a book from the Royal Library titled Crushing the Will of the Weak with No Remorse. The Chancellor uses these to designate which bird will carry the mail, Express Eagle or Second Class Dodo. I might be able to use these. It's a stamp the shape of an eagle. This book is way overdue. Let the Chancellor return his own books. Mmm, salty dick soda crackers. The birds must get thirsty eating these. I'm certain no one will miss a couple of crackers. Four out of five dragons rated salty dick soda crackers the saltiest crackers in Camel Hot. The Chancellor's twisted rotten window. Its motto is no pain, no gain. Get it? No pain? <laughs> Crack me up! I might as well, they're not much of an heirloom anymore. Boo! A corny ghost costume. I'd better take this along. The princess always likes to look her best. It's got all the clothing, shoes and accessories needed to dress a princess. This chart denotes endangered species, which are protected by law. It's a sad state of affairs when we need laws to protect our animal and insect friends. Poor little guys. 
They are exquisite birds with such excellent taste. Unfortunately, they taste excellent to the hedgehogs. There's only two of them left, and they're not even speaking. If they don't kiss and make up, the species is almost certainly doomed to extinction. There used to be plenty of them until the minor birds started fighting back. They sent in a mediator, but they ate him. That's Librarian Pure Flame. To say she's a bit deaf is like saying a tree is a bit wooden. Now there's something you don't see every day. Trivet's reading a book. It's the Librarian's prized feather duster. I beg your pardon? You want to pick a garden? Look under horticulture in aisle four! No, I said you're awfully hard of hearing. Oh, you like my earrings? My son sent them to Mayor. He won them in a contest. Can you suggest a book to read today? Read in the hay? Now that's a good way to start a fire. All you have to do is doze off and watch. Any new books coming? I suggest Fire in the Belly, Taming Your Inner Dragon. It's a must for today's modern dragon. A book for sensitive dragons? Yes, I'd like to read it. Well, you can't. So lounge a lot, chopped it up and burned it. I've got another copy ordered. I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? Inventor. And I hope to be a knight by tomorrow. Well, that's fine and dandy, sweetie. But how about the title of a book? Um... Uh, you wouldn't happen to have, uh, great earthworms named Stanley throughout history? Keep your claws off my duster! Here it is, it's one of our most popular titles! It exists? I mean, I changed my mind, but thanks. What can I do for you? I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? How about self-defense with belly button lint? You don't have it, right? Here it is, Mr. Doubting Thomas. Abridged or unabridged? But how? What can I do for you? I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? You you wouldn't have an illustrated guide to stomach flu, volume eight. Oh dear, here's volume five and seven, but it looks like oh oh wait, here it is. But that's impossible. I'll forget it. I just remembered I already own the whole set. What can I do for you? I need help for- Do you have a- Crushing the will of the weak with no remorse. I'm certain we have a copy. You wait here while I check in back! It's Librarian Pure Flame's Feather Duster. I bet she's not too tickled that I took it. Greetings, Trivet! What do you want, Flicker? I'm busy here. What are you doing? Changing my life. My days as a jester are over. Armed with this book, I plan to stand firm against the opulent bourgeois oppressors whose sole pleasure stems from making me sit on whoopee cushions. It's been months since you've done anything even remotely funny. All you do is sleep, eat and complain. This book, Hypnotism Made Easy, is going to change everything. We'll see how King High and Mighty Allfire likes making me laugh. Care for demonstration? OK, but nothing too weird. I don't want to have flashbacks years from now. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be royalty for a day? Pampered like King Allfire or Princess Flame? Yes, what would it be like to be a princess? Now that would be interesting. Yes! Make me a princess! Oh, I've always wondered about you, Flicker. 
All right, now bear with me. Let's see, turning into fine old animals, turning into pudding, turning into royalty. Here it is. Double, double, this is no trouble. Now you are a princess, although one with stubble. Hey, sweet cakes. Trivet, what are we doing in the library? Is there any word from Flicker yet? I don't believe it. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Flicker was right about you, Trivet. Now where is my father? <laughs> the last time I saw the king, he was in the square table room. You should go hop up on his lap. You do look ravishing today. <laughs> You're quite a little freak, Trivet. I'm leaving. Hello, Daddy. Busy doing kingly things. Flicker, what are you doing? Oh, Father, I've acted like such a fool lately. Can you ever forgive me? I don't care much for this behaviour, Flicker. Stop! It's silly. And rather suspect. But, Daddy... That's enough. I mean it. Enough what, King All Fire? Enough for... Flicker? Who else would it be, sire? Are you feeling all right? You've been experimenting with your chemicals again, haven't you? I can tell. Be gone! Weirdo. Blast you, Trivet! Yes, Your Highness, sir. It was so much fun. Let's try that hypnotism thing again. Your wish is my command. Double, double, this is no trouble. Now you are princess, although one with stubble. Hey, sweet cakes! You're quite a little freak, Trivet. I'm leaving. Whoa! Coming down is tough. Blast you, Trivet! Yes, Your Highness, sir. It was so much fun. Let's try that hypnotism thing again. Your wish is my command. Double, double, this is no trouble. Now you are princess, although one with stubble. Why, Uncle Flicker, where am I? Where's Daddy? Oh, I simply must talk to him about getting my own castle. Oh, what am I wearing? I can't be seen like this. I must have some proper clothing, or I'm not going anywhere. Here, Princess. Get some clothes on and then go and give your Daddy a big smooch. Oh, thank you. You really know how to treat a lady. Now, don't peek! Hello, Father. I understand you wish to speak with me. Oh, there you are, Flame. Go to your room. Oh, Father, is punishment your solution to everything? Do you intend to punish the world? I'll go to my room, but only because it's my choice. Good work, Flicker. You're free to go now. Finally. Now I can go after that dodo bird and rescue the princess. <laughs> now to catch up with that dodo bird. Pitchfork in the right hands can be an effective tool. I'll take this. This could be a big help in the right situation. My plans would have to be firmly planted though. Seems weird. 
It must be tough to have the weight of the world on your shoulders. How can I follow the dodo to the kidnappers when some loon of a hunter has him trapped? I've got to find a way to keep the hunter from making jerky out of him. The hunter probably set this to trap the dodo, but it looks like something else is caught in it. Ow! My aching foot. Hey, help me. Somebody, please help me. That ant must have a weight problem if he sprung this trap. Or else he's just big boned. Whichever, he's really stuck. You bet I'm really stuck. Get me out of here. That's such a crime. He's determined to take that dodo home for supper. Excuse me, sir. No time for chit-chat. I got a bird to kill. Got to stop him, or I'll never find out who kidnapped Princess Flame. It's a stamp the shape of a dodo. Looks like there's plenty of ink still on it. It's official. Dodo birds are now a protected species. Yeah, you were shooting an endangered species, see? Ordinance number 14602 clearly states that hunting dodo birds is against the law. Oh, it's rough, I tell you, rough. I didn't know. That must be a new law. Huh, I'm gonna throw the book at you, and my aim's better than yours. I'm wild, I tell you, wild. I wonder where that dodo has wandered off to. Oh, there he goes. We display angry behavior about your temporary person. What uncouth, revolting peasants. I wonder what he's doing with that big flat bat. Excuse me. Not now, silly boy. I am trying to invent a game using bats and balls, but I can't figure out how to work in the possibility of a player strike. You're not too fond of Sir George, then? Acceptable! We poor towns people commit absurdities at this snot dribbling collector of too many taxes. We are rankled with stinky boil anger at his outrageously expensive haircut. Are you gonna burn that effigy? We are poor starving types. You have no money for a later. You are a dragon animal. Come on, you help me. Aren't you too scared to be talking to a dragon? We are mortified, but we have no energy to go running off in terror, waving our arms in the air and such. Now, help us burn this time. 
the judge! You got it! <laughs> ben, Sir George! Ben! Wee, wee, wee! Boom, 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 Sir George! Well, that's that then. Same time next week. Yeah, I can't make it. The mud eating festival. Right, see you in two. It must have a will to live. It leapt free of the fire just in time. I can show this to everyone who said I'd never get ahead in life. It's a startling likeness of Sir George. Each time I look at it, I get startled. It's the villagers' paddle. With no effigy, they won't be needing it. I'm certain this has other uses besides paddling. A big, flat, wooden paddle. The gameplay possibilities are endless. That door leads into... The only good dragon is a dead dragon juice pub. Hey, you in the dragon suit. Are you from Rotten Jimmy's Employment Agency? <laughs> uh, me? J uh, J Jimmy Rotten's? Yeah, oh yeah, sure. Oh, I told Jimmy I needed some costume help to walk the street and drum up business. <laughs> How much does the job pay? No, not much to start, but in three months, if you haven't been mortally wounded by an angry customer, I'll consider a raise. Are there benefits? <laughs> For medical, there's a barrel of leeches in the back. And dental, there's a pair of pliers under the bar. <laughs> Are you the owner of this establishment? Sir Juicelot, at your service, formerly of Sir George's Royal Guard. <laughs> Why did you leave the Royal Guard? Well, Sir George claimed my insistent chattering was annoying, and if I didn't stop, he was going to stretch my tongue out, wrap it around my head, and spin me like a top! <laughs> so, what happened? Thought you never ask! After I stopped spinning, I left the guard and opened this place! The only good dragon is a dead dragon juice pub. <laughs> That's quite a name. I'd hate to see your bowling shirt. Tell me more about the pub. Okay, we serve every type of juice here. <gasps> We've got orange, apple, pear, nectarine, kiwi, grapefruit, tangerine, mango, carrot, guava, prune, peach, kumquat, and of course, carrot. You said carrot twice. I like carrot. Cut me and I bleed beta carotene. <laughs> What's so great about drinking juice? Are vu kidding? Look at moi. I'm so juiced up I can read in the dark, tell identical twins apart by the smell of their shoelaces, and hear a caterpillar scratching its armpits from 50 yards. <laughs> I'll accept the job. Well, get out and find some thirsty customers then. Big guy, small brain. And he does seem to enjoy his funny pages. Go away, little man in silly costume, or I kill you. There you go, putting up walls around your emotions. Tell me what you really feel. When I look down deep inside my most private self. Yeah, I really want to kill you. Excellent. I feel we've made some real progress. Why, look, it's the boys in the hoods. Excuse me, brothers. I'm working on a wax disc recording invention. I think there might be a market for people who want to hear your chants. Today is the day for cleansing the soul, not for idle talk. Poor bloke, spending his time inventing games that no one will ever play. I was wondering if you were thirsty and wanted to... Back off, lad. I am not thirsty. In fact, I have been so busy working, it has been a week since I've eaten. Would you like a cracker? What I would really like is a steaming bowl of dragon tail soup with big chunks of meat floating in it. Perhaps crackers might too. Oh, yummy! Mm -hmm. These are salty dick crackers, are they not? Mm -hmm. Just one bite, and I find I am thirsty enough to drink an ocean! Oh, 
things are really hopping now. We're starting to get a crowd. Help me out back here and take care of those monks. They love the prune juice special. <laughs> Prunes. Nature's way of saying, run for your life! These must be the garnish for the prune juice drinks. Dragons won't eat prunes, but I'm sure I'll find someone who does. Green juice, so our innards may flow freely. You wouldn't think someone so grammatically incorrect would spend time reading the funnies. Go over and serve those guys! What do you think you're doing? Those are mine! What's the big deal? When I was Baby Brute, my sweet old granny read me funny papers when she was out on parole. Okay, I'll make it a point to stay one, no, two steps away from them. Two step? Why don't I just shuffle out of here? Hustle on out. Shuffle? Hustle? Those are dancing words. You want funny papers? Dance me for them on stage, girly dragon. Okay, silly man in a dragon suit. Let us see if you can boogie with the big boys. Okay, I'm ready. Bad for the easy peasy little beginning. Now for round two. You are one lucky cookie. Try to dance your way through this if you can. up your daughters, because I am the new dance king. I might be able to use these to wrap up the mess I'm in. They're looking pretty good. I'd say almost presentable. A gift suitable for a king. After he eats the prunes, he can sit around reading the funny papers. Go over and serve those guys. A perfectly presentable fruit gift. St George's Castle. What a wretched place. won't hurt me more than it hurts you! Very good, Sir George! So, Sir George is holding Flame captive. And now he has the plans to my dishwasher engine. The little guy's taking a real beating. If he keeps it up, he may become extinct after all. He doesn't seem himself. He might attack if I tried that. 
Sir George's moat. He really needs to call his pool guy. It appears that water is drained from the moat to flush the toilet. The drawbridge to Castle Grim. That bell must summon the drawbridge guard. That bell must summon the drawbridge guard. Not so fast! I see you there! Hey, you must be the new Pope boy from the juice pub! State your business! Is the lady of the house in? Lady Esmeralda is rather indisposed. She and Sir George had words last night. Well, actually, she had words. He had a big rock. When do you expect her back? Well, that depends. Do you believe in reincarnation? I'd like to enter the castle, please. Unless your name is on the list, you're not getting in. And since there is no list, you're not getting in. Then why do you even bother answering the bell? To accept deliveries. Would you tell me about this moat? Sure! It circles the castle, it's filled with infectious rancid water, and it's home to a family of electric eels. Care for a den? I'm sorry. I thought this was Stan and Trudy Dombrowski's castle. Theirs must be the next one over. Honest mistake! State your business! Uh, I got a delivery for Sir George. I'll hand it over then. Now this is more like it. I'll run these right up to him. Sir George, a gift from one of your subjects. Let's see what we have here. I'll be very upset if this is another pile of horse. <laughs> so good. Sir George, now slow down. Remember what happened last time? Oh no! Too late! Oh, blast! Out of my way! Even out of water, this eel could shock the scales off me. I can't touch that eel without proper protection. It's the back door. It doesn't seem to be guarded. Those crazy humans. The front door is an iron-bound oak with an armed guard. But the back door isn't even latched. Here be George's wife, same in death as was in life. The entrance to Sir George's royal bathroom. You, no blue water in there. That doorway seems to lead into the courtyard. Your Majesty, I thought you were still ensconced on the porcelain eminence. That is you, isn't it, Sir George? I hope you don't want your armour. We should wait until your stomach settles down. Uh, uh, no! I want my armour now! Does your Majesty remember it takes a fortnight to de-rust your armour every time you have one of your little accidents? Very well, let me feel your face. What? It's your own rule, sire. Last year, imposters stole your armor six times. So to verify that it's really you, I must touch your face. No! I touched myself earlier and I'm sure it's me! No touch, no armor. I am Sir George! I want my armor! Yes, well, let's have your face then. A dragon? Nice suit. Go back to the juice pub and tell Sir Juicelot to stop sending his help here. <laughs> rings a bell. 
feels like it's done so repeatedly, too. But you don't smell like a polecat preschool. <gasps> An imposter! Beat it! I always thought his face could break mirrors. Fresh rainwater. Sir George must drink it since he certainly doesn't bathe with it. That's Sir George's armour. Freshly de-rusted. Dressed in it, I could have free reign of the castle. Oh, phew. Holy moly! It's a great big pile of sh**! Huh? Bloody sensors. That was my best line in the whole game. Ah, essence de Sir George. Smells just like the real thing. Nope, I would have to be disguised to go in there. Wait, that smell would make a buzzard look up from a dead buffalo. It's you all right, Sir George? Now stay away from those prunes and take this rust be gone in case you have another accident and your armor seizes up on you again. It's heavy duty rust be gone. Sure to remove rust from almost anything. Blighted crops, diseased livestock and starving residents of Manlandia. Sir George must find this view good for a giggle. Well, how do I look? I hate to think. I mean, splendid, I'm sure. It's Dog the Dog, Sir George's pet peeve. Don't worry, boy. Today I'm nice. I once took a cat nap, but I'm no dog napper. They built a new black dragon and installed my dishwasher steam engine in it. seems to be in charge of launching the Black Dragon. You there! Sir George, are you here to give the word to launch the Black Dragon too? To what? I mean... Yes! Let's a rip! Yes, sir, but first I need the passcode. Of course you do! I knew that! You stick your left foot in, you stick your right foot out. Oh, I get it. You're testing me. Gotcha, Chief. You up there, do something. And I mean now. But Sir George, only I may initiate launch procedure. This stairway goes down somewhere. I should probably investigate. Belong now, Princess Flame. Once your father's mystic royal scepter is in my hands, the universe will be mine. Mine! <laughs> You're wasting your breath, you megalomaniac. I make it a point never to listen to other people's psychotic episodes. 
foolish creature. Once the Black Dragon 2 is fully operational, your value as a hostage diminishes to around... Let's see, can the four? Um, zero! You will like it in the Psycho Ward. We have tapioca on Tuesday. That's Mervyn the Magician, Sir George's advisor. He's rumoured to have mildly magical powers. He's also a complete loon. Mervyn! What is it now? Give me the, um, status on, you know, the evil plan thingy. You slept through the morning meeting again, didn't you? Incorporating that foolish inventor's steam engine has increased the destructive potential of my Black Dragon a thousandfold. Destructive potential? But it was never meant to... I mean, good! Destroying is good, I, I guess. You bet your foul feet it's good. Leave me to question the prisoner! Oh, go away! I need to finish my work! You're needed outside, Mervyn! You have callers! You really should come! Very well! Oh, wait. It's probably those persistent toads from the bank about my student loans. Tell them I've moved or died or something! Splendid work, Mervyn! Carry on, Toodle Pip! Good show and all that! Your vote of confidence thrills me to no end, sire. I have to rescue the princess. She's locked up tight. Psst! Princess Fly! Get away from me, you gangrenous brute! Flame! I must talk to you! You disgust me, Sir George! Go stick your head in a manure pile! Again? Psst! Princess Flame! Get away from me, you gangrenous brute! It's me, Flicker! I have no desire to play games, Sir George. If you were really Flicker, you'd know my birthday. You were born on December the 6th. You weighed 96 pounds and your first words were flushy mooga. Oh, your spies have done their homework, Sir George. But I vow to remain silent until I am rescued. Psst! Princess Flame! Get away from me, you gangrenous brute! Well, if you're gonna be rude, goodbye. This must be where Mervyn hatches his dastardly schemes for world domination. Let's see. It says, Poke Eyes, Bonk Head, Jab Adam's Apple, Poke Eyes again, Hammer Nose, Two Head Bonk, Slap Face, and then a final poke in the eyes. By criminy, it's some kind of barbaric code. If I launch the Black Dragon now, he'll just roll on out the open door. This control appears to raise or lower the front gate. There, the gate is securely closed. All right, you imbecile. I've got your code right here. Uh. What the devil is all that racket? I get on a really good diabolical roll, and then what? I'd better investigate. How could you let this happen, you fool? Sir George entered the code correctly. I was only doing my job. What in the world possessed you to do such a thing? Really? What were you thinking? Hmm? Who says I was thinking? This is my castle, and I'll do as I please. 
I doubt there is any more damage I can do. It's almost totaled. Repair could take days. When you're finished, I'd be happy to guard it again. Why add insult to injury? I'd better not. I've caused enough damage already. Sir George is unpopular out there. I'd better take this armour off or the peasants will boil me like a lobster and dip me in lemon butter. I'll leave this here. It should be safe until I return. What in the world are they building? Hello up there! Hey, you can't talk to him. He's like taking a vow of uh, deafness until this job is done. <laughs> Those nutty artists, huh? <laughs> Excuse me there. Hey, don't bother him, man. He's one of those uh, sensitive artist types. Oh, yeah, that's it. You know, like uh, that Da Vinci guy? Hey, my boy taught him everything he knows. Excuse me, but what are you building? Isn't that obvious? It's a trap. Uh, easium. Uh, uh, yeah, a trapezium built especially for special dragons like you. <laughs> What's a trapezium? Uh, a, a trapezium, it's a... Um... Oh, it's a, it's a Swahili word uh, for a monument. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's a monument for all you peaceful dragons. Uh, Sir George ordered it himself. How's the monument progressing? <laughs> what, mom? Oh, the monument. Oh, good. Yeah, oh, yeah, great, great. He must be the big cheese. Hey, Sir George says I have the biggest mouth in Manlandia. That's how important I am, yeah. What a massive undertaking. Hey, thank you. Uh, I've been told it's the most massive monument in all the lands. Sure, it's not the size that counts, you know. He appears to be sculpting one of the pieces for a precision fit. I guess he's making measurements. Dog the dog's bone. He probably misses it. Well, I pick up just about everything else. A bone should fit in nicely with the other half ton of junk I have. Better put Sir George's armor back on. I don't want to be stopped by the guards. Fetch! Whoa, good boy! 
Let me have it. Good boy. It is I, Sir Loungelot. What's on your mind, you hunky, well-proportioned slab of dragon? You're what's on my mind. Regardless of your feelings for me, I will have you. Oh, talk is cheap, scabbard breath. Let's see some action. Your wish is my command, my saucy little tart. Mwah! Ouch, but I didn't know you cared. Oh! Where could she be? I sent my knights out hours ago to find her. Flicker, there you are, you... you... Where is Flame? Hi, Daddy. Flame? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. I was so worried about you. King Allfire, this was entirely my fault. I have no problem in believing that. But before I deal with you, I need you to go out and bring back my knights. Understand, dish boy? Flame, go to your room. Oh, Father, is punishment your solution to everything? Do you intend to punish the world? I'll go to my room, but only because it's my choice. Excuse me, King Allfire. I thought I made it clear that I want you to bring back my knights now! Now to bring back the king's knights. the long arm of the law, or in this case, the short stubby arm of the law. Uh, call your daddy and get a lawyer, okay? I don't have a daddy. It's heavy duty rust be gone, sure to remove rust from almost anything. This should do the job. Hey pal, thanks a lot. Wait till the guys back at the mound hear about this. Hey, if I can ever help you out of a jam, give me a call. Or better yet, blow this whistle and my friends and I'll come running. Or maybe strutting, I'm not sure. I just hunt for food to survive. 
All right, then hunt yourself something legal and meaty, okay? Careful, officer. That could easily be you. Are you ever going to go back to work? I already am. Planning is the most important part of every project. That's the stage I'm in, lad. Lance the Mole seems weary. It must be tough to have the weight of the world on your shoulders. That would be pretty funny, but probably cruel. This dirt is well packed. That sign should stay where it is for some time, barring some act of nature. Thanks. That'll make the job a lot easier once I'm off break. Just hold on one minute. You'd better have requisition form 8HB33 slash VMD30 for that. What if I don't have that form? Well, if that were true, we'd have to fill out report H999V, make two copies, attach one to voucher B8553-4, and process it with routing slip GBB412. And then the real paperwork would start. Just hold on one minute. You'd better have requisition form 8HB33... Can't I just borrow them? Even if I wanted to, I couldn't let you touch them until you took the five-week training course, had at least three certified instructors sign approval form HH332-3888, and you got signed up for stilt insurance. Sorry. Just hold on one minute. Yep, uh, Eddie Ember sent me, yeah, from Local 47. Eddie Ember? Eddie got me into the union. I'd give him a lung if he needed it. You want these stilts? Take them. I don't need them anymore. Not with the sign dropping down. This could be helpful in getting over one of my worst fears. Through that archway is the tournament grounds. I never understand why they're called stands when you sit on them. King All Fire and Princess Flame will sit there during the tournament. The Royal Gardens of Camelhot, planted with corn in honour of the King's feet. And let those big black birds peck my hand. Quoth, flicker, nevermore. Those are tough crows. They scared the last scarecrow right out of town. Boo! A corny ghost costume. Ah, <laughs> this should fix those crows. That's better. Now this garden can grow. It's my scarecrow. Now, if only I had a lion and a tin man, we'd have enough for a game of bridge. I'm sure some use for this corn will pop up. What a great ear of fresh corn. The farmer who planted this is outstanding in his field. humans were building a trap. All four knights are stuck inside. The knights are trapped. I must do something. Brave knights, are you well? We're just Gucci. Thank you for asking. I'll search for a way to stop this crazy thing. No! Sir George's men trapped us here to raid the mines of Camelhop. They must be stopped. But surround your lot. No arguments! Stop Sir George's men from raiding the mines! 
That appears to lead down below the trap. Let's get to the bottom of this. Is that good we fall? Up on toes, down on floor. Heel pivot, toe pivot. This is how we dance. Dig it. He's the power source for the trap. That fellow's face rings a bell. Excuse me, but don't I know you? You embarrassed me already today. We have met. Where was it again? You beat me in dance contest, Iguana. Just can't put my finger on where we've met. I have to stop the humans from invading the royal mines. After working for Sir George, stealing coal from fire-breathing, heavily-armed dragons is easy. Can you believe those dragons eat jewels? They're only after coal now, but they'll be after gems soon. I have to stop them. Filled with coal, all those canisters could power the black dragon for years. It would be like talking to a wall. A frank discussion of issues of mutual concern might lead to a new level of understanding between dragons and humans. Nah. This canary must have been trained by Sir George personally to warn against poison gas leaks. No one can leak it like him. Hello, little fellow. Mm. Hello yourself. Did I wake you up? It's not you. I didn't get much sleep last night. How's the gas situation? I take it you mean here in the mine? Everything's fine. Although every once in a while I act like I'm in a faint just to throw a scare into these guys. A little job security? A bird's gotta eat. Who do you work for? Sir George, but not directly. I subcontract. I heard he doesn't pay well. I managed to take care of the bells. Why don't you grab some shut-eye? I'll cover for you. I need some time to think about it. I am a bait brain, you know. I'll leave you to your work. It contains King Allfire's coronation speech. Half the subjects who heard it are still sleepy. How about a magazine to keep you occupied? <sighs> no, that's a splendid idea. Would you mind holding it open for me? It would be my pleasure. Let's see here. Hmm, a speech. My dearest loyal subjects, blah, blah, blah. It's truly an honor. Yawn, blah, blah, blah. And then when I turn five, yawn, blah, blah. It's a pickaxe. I can pick and choose with this, no questions asked. These canisters seem to seal up fairly tight. This chemical dust is a byproduct of diamond mining. Whenever we sweep it out of the mines, it seems to rain. I'm not a chemist, but I think I can use this. I'm sure I could find a good use for this. I'd have to get a little closer. It wouldn't hurt him, and it would only make him angry. Not you again. Hey, what are you doing? You ruined everything! It's jammed in too tight. Ah! 
dumb dragon, you make me angry! Well, I've got what I need, and speaking to you as a friend, you've really got to work on your attitude. The trap is certainly loose, but now it needs to be lifted up of its base. So lounge a lot! Success! Now see about stopping this thing! Sir Gasflame is about to share what he ate for breakfast with us! Again! I said I was sorry, didn't I? <laughs> now, Flicker! He seems much happier in here than out on the street. Hello, how are you? Splendid! Oh, I can't thank you enough for dragging me in here. <laughs> Get it? Dragon? Aren't you a bit overdressed? I was thinking the very same thing. With heavy clothing, it is difficult to do the most important thing in my new game. What? Swing at the ball? Slide into home? No, scratch yourself. I am thinking that the players will do much scratching and spitting as well. You could improve your bat design. I can't make it any flatter. It's hard enough to swing as it is. How about something rounded and tapered with less wind resistance? Oh, I would be most interested in trying a bat such as that. Another helping of your wife. I'm sure I could have a ball with this. They're my most devoted customers. Keep their glasses full. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's it. The perfect bat. I should be able to smash the ball a mile. Here, take my old one. Mmm, flat and wooden. My inventor's sense is tingling. I don't know if it's safer on this side or the other side of that door. The magical home of the Lady of the Lake. Look, something magical's happening. Oh, what are the chances? Oh, all this rubbish everywhere. What's a lady to do? I got you now, fish lady. Speedy, quick. Let me go. <laughs> Oh no! That fisherman just caught the Lady of the Lake! By the evils of George, I think that fisherman has captured the Lady of the Lake. That fisherman looks about as dim as a half-watt candle. Hey! You in the ugly suit! Lead those fish alone! Mwah! I got me a mermaid! yah ha Help me, please! Excuse me? Lady of the Lake? Can you talk? I'm a bit tied up here, Flicker, do you mind? I can't do anything until I get over there, and I'm not walking in that water. This could be helpful in getting over one of my worst fears. Presenting Flicker and the stupendous stilt walk of certain suicide. Coming soon to a medieval tournament near you. The sword insipid. Whosoever lifteth the sword from this king's heir 680 clothes dryer shall rightly be crowned master of all. Or maybe not. All the sword's enchantment appears to have gone directly into the dryer. Well, so much for that master of all myth. 
Mm, nice and warm. I could dry anything I wanted to in here. Help! Someone? Anyone? The setting must have been too high. I got popcorn instead of dried corn. Crikey! It's the mother load! A rich vein of ore! It's designed to push a boat through water. Page 76 of the script tells me I can use it to propel something else. I'm sure some use for this corn will pop up. Now it's set on delicate. Okay, here's the deal. Let me help now and uh, no one gets hurt. Perfectly dried popping corn. The black dragon gets his fuel in these canisters. It's perfectly dried popping corn from the dryer. Eureka! Tonight, hold these paddles straight out and tilt them a bit to catch the wind. about the princess. The princess is safe. King Allfire sent me for you. To Camelot, knights! Perhaps King Allfire will forgive me now. Well done, Flicker. It appears that you are starting to take responsibility and clean up after yourself. As you know, loyal knights, tomorrow is the tournament. The victor will be your new king and will wed my daughter. I suggest you retire for the evening. But Sire, what if Sir George shows up with another black dragon? Ha! Not unless he knows karate, Flicker, you little sissy. Father, I beg you to reconsider and let Flicker participate in the tournament. Yeah. The only hope for Flicker is if he can earn his knighthood by tournament time! <laughs> <laughs> Laugh now, lizard boys. Slept on tournament day, and I still need to figure out how to get to the cave of dilemma. Ah, 
Hey, Flicker, if you make it to the tournament, my stud muffin lounge lock will kick your butt. As long as he doesn't mistake it for your face. Everyone must be at the tournament. These are ancient. They must be from the Tong Dynasty. I need to get up to the Cave of Dilemma to become a knight. The eel is alright for the moment, but it'll need to be back in water soon. That waterfall is blocking my way up to the Cave of Dilemma. The sign says, Cave of Dilemma this way. You must be at least this tall and a squire to pass. Pregnant dragons, individuals with a history of heart disease or urinary tract infections are advised not to enter. We don't want to deal with you. Try Magical Merv's mystical mud hole instead. Not a chance. I'd get drenched and it'd probably put my fire out for a month. Fisherman's got no regard for his natural surroundings. This ought to enlighten him a bit. Flicker, is there any way I can thank you? Yeah, I got an idea. You could dribble melted sapphire sauce on my... Whoa, wait a minute. I promised a princess flame. <laughs> After me, you'd forget all about that little princess. Okay. Wait, 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 stop! You could make me a knight right here and now. Oh, baby, baby, baby. The best things in life are long and hard. I knew you were going to say something like that. Actually, what do you know about the Cave of Dilemma? Great parties ever since we banned the trolls. Actually, I'm kind of the bouncer since I control the waterfall that opens it. I thought it was a place where squires are tested for knighthood. Only on weekdays to pay the rent. Well, I need to get up there. I'm trying to become a knight. Ah, oh, let me see. Got any powdered unicorn's horn on you? I left it at home. Silly me. Oh, that plan's no good then. Hmm. Oh, I could turn you into a nymph. Then you could dance up the waterfall. Of course, you'd have to remain that way for a millennium. Hmm, seems like a pretty steep downside. Well, I guess I could just shut it off and you could take the stairs. A bit boring, if you ask me. At this point, I'll take boring. Oh, as you wish. When you arrive there, the falls will be turned off. My job's done here. Plus, it's getting kind of warm. Okay, it seems safe enough. No puddles or anything.
The cave of Dilemma is closed. So go away. Scrim, take a hike. I'm retired. I can't believe this. After all I went through to get up here. Wait a minute. How long have you been retired? What time is it? <laughs> but seriously, what's the matter? This is important, and I need some help. Now look here, you little schmitzel. You better learn some respect for your elders before I give you a good Jagalong. OK, look, I'm very sorry, but the well-being of all Camelhot is at stake. Camelhot? Archie Allfire's place? Why didn't you say so? So I'll start my retirement tomorrow. Who are you? I'm guardian, gatekeeper and janitor of the Cave of Dilemma. I bought the place from Mystic Mel three millennia ago. The name's Ancient Al. Ancient Al? That must have been a rough name to grow up with. You're a funny little schmickle, aren't you? Tell me a bit more about those challenges. We've got the test of dexterity, the test of strength, the test of eye-hand coordination, and the test of something a wee bit scary. Which one do you want to know about? Tell me about the test of dexterity. The outcome of this challenge is up in the air. No dragon has ever returned successfully from this trial. Well, there was one, but it was a really close shave. What about the strength test? It's pretty simple. If you can't get the job done with your back, do it with what you've got between your ears. What about the eye-hand coordination test? For this challenge, you must pull a rabbit out of bunny hopping hats. Don't sweat it if you can't keep your eyes on them every single second. The rabbits have to rest, you have to rest. Just be sure you do it at the same time. The test of something a wee bit scary? I don't get it. Well, it used to be called the test of ultimate terror. But Sir Cravenhard the Hesitant complained to the Fair Challenge Bureau. So I had to tone it down. Now, through semi-mystical means, I pick through your mind and locate whatever you dread the most. Then I bring that thing to life and annoy the heck out of you with it. OK, I'm ready to give it a go. OK, there's the test of dexterity, the test of strength, the test of eye-hand coordination, and finally the test of something a wee bit scary. Pick one, kid. Pick one! How about the test of dexterity? OK, this one is simple. Get all three porcupines spinning at the same time to win. I hope these porcupines are well paid for this job. I wouldn't waste my breath. Lucky for Rapunzel, she didn't hurt herself with these. This seems to be doing the job. Plus, they seem to like it. They seem less wind resistant now. I'm ready for another challenge. That's a good start, you little schmizzle. Pick one, kid. Pick one. I'll choose the test of strength. OK, just a bit of heavy lifting. See that rock? Rock? That's not a rock. It's a landmass. It's a challenge, you little snuggy. If it was easy, we'd be up to our armpits in nights. Just move the rock a few feet over that way. A few feet? Is that all? I suppose you'd like me to juggle it as well. I'm going to have to find a way to move it. I certainly can't chip it or crack it. Got it! Oh, God, a little more! Oh, come on! Oh! 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 Who am I kidding? I can't lift this thing! Hardly anybody gets it right off the bat. You'll do better next time. Oh, let me try another challenge. That's a good start, you little schmizzle. Pick one. I'll choose the test of strength. 
You just move that rock over a few feet and you win! Blow this whistle and my friends and I'll come running. Or maybe strutting. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm three. One, two, three. Heave. Way to go! Who knew those little buggers were that strong? All those years I stepped on them, they could have killed me! Yay! I'm ready for another challenge! That's a good start, you little schmizzle. Pick one, kid. Pick one! Let's try the test of eye-hand coordination. There's a bunny rabbit in each hat. One is healthy, and the other three have rabies, and they love to bite. Keep your eye on the healthy rabbit as they jump around, and be sure to pick that hat. Got it? And what if I pick the wrong one? Don't be a baby. A little rabies never killed. Um, just follow the healthy one. Concentrate, Flicker. Away we go! Your eyes on the healthy rabbit flick! Concentrate, Flicker! Away we go! Have you know that not a single rabbit was harmed during this challenge? Yay! I'm ready for another challenge! Come on now, kid! Now it's time to face something a wee bit scary! Do it for your old Uncle Ancient Al! Oh well, I suppose it's time for the test of something a wee bit scary. What in the world is that? It looks like all the old dirty laundry beneath my bed. So I hate doing laundry. Is that a crime? Does that make me evil? Wicked! Acknowledging your fears is the first step to facing them, lad. You must conquer the diabolical laundry beast in order to pass this challenge. This creature is composed of all my old laundry. I'm so ashamed. I can't. I'll get sucked up in the swirling mass of dirty laundry and I'll never be seen again. Sir Lounge Lot's private blend of laundry detergent. Wow! It doesn't seem to mind soap at all. It's ammonium nitrate powder. 
I saw a pile of this get caught in an updraft and cause a downpour. Ha! Die, you banshee of a thousand wash cycles! I've taken care of you for good. Nice work, kid. If you hadn't held the start, you'd be in for a rematch. You've passed the test! When you first walked in here, I didn't think you had what it takes. So that means I'm a knight? Not yet, you little schnutzy. Your reward for passing the almost impossible challenges of the Cave of Dilemma is this cubic zirconia. You can redeem this for our knighthood in any kingdom in the royal. Thanks for your help, Ancient Owl. You got what you came for, so go! If you get our chance, drop me a line. I'd like to know how things turn out. He won't write. They never do. <sighs> That's my ticket to entering the tournament. All I have to do is give it to King Allfire. I hope there's still time to compete in the tournament. Flicker, come over here. By George, by Dragon, you've done it, haven't you? <laughs> Hand over the cubic zirconia. Night as you become as that is all as. Ouch! Oh. <laughs> This has been one exciting tournament! Joining me in the booth is my special guest, Jacques Strap! What do you thought so far, Jacques? Whoa, uh, uh, you know, for the, uh, 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 down for you. I couldn't have said it better, champ! Sir Flicker of Camelhot, newly knighted just this very morning, has emerged as a Dark Horse favorite! Well, you, uh, move for, uh, the move? No thanks, Jacques, just had a cap! Now, young Sir Flicker goes head to head against veteran Sir Gasflame in the vicious log rolling competition. Well, we are still familiar. An astute observation, champ. With that victory, young Sir Flicker shall meet Sir Lounge a lot in a contest of cunning, strength, and courage. I am speaking, of course, of the very butch and dragonly sport of thumb wrestling. Insolent whelp! Okay, that's it! Oh, how good is that? I must have dozed off. Uh, would you mind doing that last bit again? I'm ready, sire. This time I'll show him no mercy. You all sort no fair! Flicker, you won! You won! And I have to admit that I am surprised at the outcome of this tournament. It was never in doubt, sire. I have the most cunning thumbs in all of Camelhot. But I was supposed to be the winner! I'm supposed to marry Flame! I am here to be 
ground the true king of Camelot. Too late, foul brute. The tournament is over. Your time is past, King Smallfire. Loyal knights, defeat this monstrosity! What an entrance! The Black Dragon almost cleared out the entire arena! him in a jiffy. Oh, I better get back to the tournament to see how everyone is doing. You dimwit! You wrecked another black dragon! That's it! I quit! Don't quit your whining! And build me a black dragon free magician. Oh yeah. I'll make you a black dragon, all right? Consider this my resignation! Whoa! That was a mistake. Give me back my scepter! Oh, your wish is my command, mighty Merv. Join your scepter! I am the Inferno! Nobody will stand between me and legal and binding ownership of this kingdom. I order you to leave Camelot this instant! You order me? You're not fit to order me lunch! Say, there's an idea. Lunch. <laughs> I think I'll start with a shrimp! What a jerk! You ate the king! You can't eat the king! And a little cream puff for dessert. <laughs> um. Now, to survey my new land before I scorch it black! <laughs> of creating the ultimate weapon, and the ungrateful contraption eats me! Mervyn's as stuck as the king and I. Etc, etc, etc. The black dragon is draining mystical energy from the jewel. I doubt it would be able to fly without it. It's an indicator of how much energy the black dragon is draining from the mystic jewel. As if that annoying clicking sound didn't make it clear enough. King Allfire is just as stuck as I am, and he appears to be in a bit of a stupor. It seems to be some sort of control lever. What do you think of the decor inside your new dragon, Melvin? Me, I think the slime's just a lovely shade of cues. Very funny, foolish dragon. This will be no more than a minor setback once I get my hands on that scepter. King Allfire? Can you hear me, sire? Put me back in, Mick. I'm wearing him down, I can tell. <laughs> Where are my tongues? The king must have taken a knock to the royal noggin. Start touching that! With too little power, we'll surely stall and crash! It's my clicker. The first thing I ever invented. I won second place at the science fair that year. First place went to the wheel. Hey, it sounds like the engine. Sort of. Are you playing with that lever again? Stop it! You'll go blind! Mm -hmm. 
It's pointless for you to speed it up. I can simply slow it down. I don't understand. How could it stall? That's against my religion. Oh, that's just marvelous, lizard boy. The path to freedom lies ahead. Only something unpredictable and very heavy can stop me now. Mervyn, you utter fool! Fool? Oh, are you ungrateful, bloated cretin? I made you! You are where you are today, thanks to me! Then thanks for putting me up a tree, you cross-dressing pillar! What a stroke of luck, sire! Landing on top of the Royal Mattress Factory like we did. Oh, I haven't felt this young in years. I think I have another 500 years of ruling in me. <laughs> Let me ask you, Flicker. If you didn't really want to run the kingdom, why did you enter the tournament? Well, sir, apart from the usual reasons of macho bravado and general stupidity, it was to save Princess Flame from having to marry against her will. I see. Flicker. Your actions over these past few days have shown you to be a lad of noble character with a brave streak bordering on the suicidal. <laughs> I think you would be the perfect suitor for my flame. Is that all I had to do to impress you? I would have done that years ago. Sure seems a long way back to the castle. Yes, I don't remember it being this far. Seems like we're standing on a treadmill. I think I figured it out, Flicker. We're on a shortcut. A shortcut? Quite. Why, I bet the designers took a shortcut by looping this road in 20 frames. That explains it. Can you believe the audacity of those guys? Yeah, Murray, it's me. Hold the phone real close, pal. I've got something real personal to tell you. You're fired! You stink! You're not an agent, you're a curse! <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what's the matter. It's this geek you got me. The one with the dragons and knights and crap. It's a dog, Murray. And this business with the computers and the interactive games is not the wave of the future, Buck Rogers. It's the wave that washes dead fish up on shore. It stinks worse than you do, and it's never going to catch on. All you do is walk around picking up enough stuff to fill a shopping cart. Oh, and get this, the bag they give you to put it all in is tiny. I mean, there you are, hefting around half a ton of useless crud that you probably couldn't lift with a damn crane. Suspend your disbelief if you will, folks. You break your back to find some toenail clipping that you're going to have to use later on with some belly button lint to make an atom bomb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and get this. If there's some kind of problem that the programmers can't be bothered to deal with, they just say it has magical properties and move on to the next scene. Who writes this stuff, for Pete's sake? Oh, and then they go and cut half my lines to give more screen time to that flicker kid who just between you and me is lousy. <laughs> I don't care, Murray. Now, why don't you start earning that 20% you're stealing from me and get me some TV work? Here's an idea. Team me up with some young lookers and we can go solve crimes. Trivets angels or something. Look, I've got to go before these spuds start working on a sequel. <laughs> huh? I don't care if my contract says I have to. Oh, I just won't show. What are they going to do, sue me? <laughs> Oh, yeah, good point. So I'll be in the next one. But only if they get someone who at least graduated from high school to do the graphics. You work on it. OK, baby, I'm out of here. If you want me, I'll be at two bunch getting a soak in the mud. All right, love to you too.
Play ball! Crystal Dynamics 32-bit lineup with all the nose bleeding, brain bruising, and eye grabbing power that you'd expect from the leader. Third generation 32-bit software in your face. Are there uh, any other games we could play? I think he's dead. Hey, pal, walk it off. <laughs>